Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Um, I'm going to do my top five DE razors today in this video. Um, it's October 2017 and I've just celebrated um, two years of DE wet shaving. Um, so it's been a bit of a journey so I thought to myself well I've used a lot of razors in that time so I'm going to do my top five at this moment. This may change in <laughs> months and years who knows, even days to come. Uh, but these are my top five razors at the moment from five through to one. So what's at number five? Well, number five is the Merker 34C HD. Um, this was the very first razor I bought when I started DE wet shaving. It's a two piece razor. You screw the bottom here and the head comes off like that and it goes back in like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit sentimental because it is the first razor I bought um, when I started wet shaving. Um, a wonderful razor, nice and short, always gives me a good shave. Uh, I really like it. So that's the um, the Merker, the Merker? The Merker 34C HD. Uh, a lot of people have these. Um, a lot of beginners get them when you're starting out, as I did. As I say, this was my first razor and I really like it, I still like it. So that's my number five, the Merker 34C HD. Okay, on to number four um, in my top five. Uh, I'm just looking at the razors there. Okay, this one is, uh, this is a, a vintage razor. Um, coming in at number four, uh, my top four is this, the Gillette Fat Boy. Uh, this is number four and my top five DE razors. This is a, a twist to open. Um, this one's in very good condition for it, it, its age. It's a 1958 razor, so um, there's a little bit of a mark on the top there, but um, nothing to worry about. Everything works as it should. It's an adjustable. Um, there's the numbers there on the dial that you adjust. Yeah. I can't believe how how um, good this razor is still after 60 years shaving uh, and it still works perfectly. Uh, it's good weight, great knurling, um, yeah I, I really like it and it just every time I use it I always say this on video if I've used this I always say uh, it never feels like there's a blade in it but, but, um, but there is but that's my number four the Gillette Fat Boy. Number three razor, DE, in my top five is uh, another razor that often um, is advised by wet shavers for beginners to start out with. Um, it's this. Number three is the Edwin Jagger DE89. I just absolutely love the way this razor shaves. Um, I don't think I've had a bad shave from it. Yeah, it's Beautifully made, made in England. I've got some close-ups of these razors, which I will cut to between these shots. 
yeah it's a three piece razor you unscrew the handle and the heads come off like that but it's just a fantastic piece of work there are lots of DE89s you can buy but I like this particular one for the the knurling on the handle which is a 3D laser diamond I have it in black you also get this in a, a kind of traditional just a like a chrome finish but um, very nice so that's my number three the Edwin Jagger DE89 Number two in my top five, this is a, quite a new razor on the market and uh, yeah, I just when I got it, it just, um, it just gave me a great shave and I loved the way it felt uh, and it's this, this is the Parker variant. It's great weight to it, lovely balance, um, nice knurling on the handle. They did have some issues with the, the black finish at the beginning, but they have fixed that, Parker have fixed that, and um, there are no issues now with the, the, the newer models that, that have came out. But this is uh, it's kind of supposed to compete with the, the Merker Progress. Uh, you twist the bottom here, it's an adjustable. You can see the numbers on the bottom, one to five. Uh, it's a two-piece, and the head comes off like that. And it's just, I don't know what it is about this razor, but it feels different to the Progress. A very similar head to the Merkur Progress. Uh, and these two lines must match up for the, the calibration to work properly. Yeah, it just feels better. I think it's um, Parker have taken all the bad bits from the Merkur Progress, like the, the dial, the yellow dial on the Merkur Progress. Uh, and the lack of knurling on the handle and they've just made it better um, and this razor just shaves fantastically I just really like the feel of it, the weight and uh, the shave it gives and also because it's an adjustable you can use it to whatever setting you like if you like a more aggressive shave or a less aggressive shave so that's my number two um, the Parker variant So, number one DE razor um, at the moment is uh, is this. This is the Rockwell 6S. This razor is absolutely incredible. I absolutely love it. I don't think I've had a bad shave from it ever. I've used this quite a lot. Different blades. It never gives me a bad shave. Never. Uh, no irritation from it. Just the weight of it is uh, all stainless steel, but you can get the, the 6C, which is a chrome version. Uh, and these plates on the bottom adjust. There's different numbers on there. But I like this plate, which is R4. This is a three-piece. R4 on that side. And then you flip it over to R2. Uh, that's my favourite plate and yeah it's just beautifully made lovely machined stainless steel as I say it's just great weight great balance knurling everything I want in a razor is in this razor the Rockwell 6S um, yeah I just I, I can't say any more about it I just absolutely adore it it's great so that is my number one DE razor, the Rockwell 6S.
okay. Uh, Honourable mentions. <laughs> I've got a lot of razors. Um, well, compared to some people, I don't have that much, but I've got a lot of nice razors that I really enjoy using. Um, some other vintage razors I have, uh, which are just great. The Gillette Aristocrat. I have a, a Gillette um, Red Tip. That's another great razor. Some of the single edge razors I have. Gem 1912. Excellent razors, all all great razors, but um, these are my top five. If I had to choose five just now, um, these are the top five that I would choose. So um, that's all for me for today. What are your top five? Um, if you if you want to leave a comment with your top five razors, please feel free to do so. Um, some people will maybe have some of these. Other people other people's list will be completely different. Um, I kind of struggled to choose these five just because I had to choose five. I, I was going to do seven and eight and then I thought no let's just do five uh, and these are the five that I chose. But my number one, the Rockwell success. Fantastic. Okay, until the next time, have yourselves a cracking, cracking time and I shall see you soon. Take care.